welcome to all. On behalf of the Milestone team, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome all the school leaders and principals to the Milestone Leaders Connect. In today's webinar, we will focus on how schools can succeed during this COVID-19 pandemic. We will try to address the queries mentioned in the registration form of the webinar during the session. However, we would love to hear from you for any questions and requests, so kindly post them in the chat box. Also, the FAQs of the webinar shall be mailed to each one of you today. Now, without taking much of your web time, I would like to request Ms. Sri Lada Subramaniam, Head of Academics at Milestone, to kindly begin the webinar this evening by introducing our honorable speaker of the day, Mr. Rakesh Singh Tomar. Over to you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so nice to have all of you join us for this very special webinar. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to today's speaker, Mr. Rakesh Singh Tomar. Milestone is proud to be the academic partner of Indian School Bosha, Muscat Oman, and its founder principal, Mr. Rakesh Singh Tomar, sir. Over the last few year, two years, we have witnessed how beautifully he has developed the school, starting from the architectural planning to the in-depth planning of academic systems and resources. Rakesh sir has gathered a talented team of teachers and academic heads and been an inspiration to all of them as he propels the school to greater heights year on year. His exposure and experience of working with various international curriculums has been a huge advantage and his innovative and unique initiatives are worth learning from. Rakesh sir is here today to tell us about he, how he as a leader has empowered his team during the COVID-19 pandemic and proving yet again that at times of great crisis, we can actually reinvent ourselves and find new opportunities. We at Milestone are sure that you will feel enriched after attending this webinar and many of the questions currently in your mind would find answers. It's crucial to note that Rakesh Sa's webinar is happening on a day when the government has announced that there is no chance of schools reopening in the near future. This means that all of us have to gear up quickly to meet the challenges of the next few months and turn them into fruitful opportunities. Welcome again to today's webinar, Leading Schools to Success During a Lockdown. We will have the question and answer session at the end of the webinar, so do make notes of your queries. Rakesh sir, it's my pride and joy to welcome you to conduct this webinar. I'm sure all of us will learn a lot from your session and we'll leave this session enriched. Thank you so much for conducting this webinar for us. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, Silata ma'am and uh, Chikita Milestone team for sharing something which we are doing for last almost 90 plus days. I believe the entire India is experiencing something called a big boss house, where we all are locked down. We are enjoying the same feeling, what otherwise we, which we used to see on the Star TV. Now, this particular seminar is an outcome of one of the argument that I had with uh, Sheelata ma'am some time back, where she was sharing one WhatsApp message with me telling me ki the parents are not supportive of school initiatives and school should strongly register an objection to it. I said, no, we should not. Reason is we are not fighting a war with China. 
we have a parent who is very much a stakeholder pandemic has created crisis for everybody it is not just for the school it has created crisis for everybody and it is very important that we all should respect each other's struggle which all should respect each other's changes challenges and then we also should understand that some of us are reacting and some of us need to respond so being a wise person being a head of an educational institute wisdom being calm is something which is very essential for all of us at this point of time so somewhere this particular discussion has come out this particular presentation has come out this particular thought of doing this seminar has come out of that particular breakthrough that particular understanding where at the end we both realize that it is not a time to be reactive it is a time to be responsive so we started talking about what should be the theme on which we should work some time back my talk was on design thinking in education today it is about design thinking a leadership approach to mitigate lockdown many of the attendees who are from india may think that my school is like an european school is like an american school which has excessive flow of funds which has everything that they have seen in movies in serials and which they generally dream of so for setting the tone right let me give you a brief about the school that i represent indian school boshar is a community school which is a non profit making school which is a school which takes the minimum possible fees so that every indian living in oman can afford education we have to sustain ourselves as an institution we don't have any government funding to meet our business expenses but saying all these things i as a school leader has got a wonderful team that is ready to stretch that is ready to die and that is ready to explore any known or unknown territory without giving a second thought because they know that i am already there guarding and ensuring their security so this leadership approach of leading from front especially when you are establishing a school is very important once your school is settled it is established as a brand then the decentralization of idea thought and power happens and then everybody looks after themselves so today's talk is about basically a leadership mindset which helps you to take a calculated risk and during covid 19 the best way to survive is to have a strong immune system but if you want your institution to survive you have to have a strong mental immune system emotional immune system intellectual immune system educational immune system and a commitment if you have all these on your side you can play and win any test match you can see there you being a leader is facing the bowler who is representing coronavirus on the runner side you have your student community 
because even if you fight with the rest of the world it is the students who will be losing so i have kept them on my side we have teachers we have support staff we have admin staff in the form of the fielding the constraint the tension that surrounds you is about the media report that comes in the new and frequently changing rules and regulations that come from this particular civil administration frequent salary cut talk that appears in the newspaper economic recession and job security you also have hackers who are waiting to breach your institutional privacy you have a parent community who out of their anxiety and insecurity sometimes looks like playing from other team the community and in recent time the judiciary your bank loans and investments your poor fee collection status everything put together looks like an opponent which is all determined to get you out but then there lies the talent you may always decide to play at back foot you can play as defensive or you can pay, play a duck ball but then you are also left with the choice to play on front foot play with aggression aggression to surprise your opponent with aggression to clear the boundary with so many constraints around you your selection of shot will decide whether your students whether your staff whether your support staff they will win the match against covid 19 or not yesterday evening when webinar coordinator ms chakita has shared questions that has come from you just by seeing that i was so happy that i have covered almost everything and more than that in today's talk and ladies and gentlemen this talk is not out of idealism you will have evidences you will have way forward you will have strategies which will make you have a better understanding of the entire problem and then decide to move on the last week state of the sector report private schools in india has come out and from that i realized the entire struggle of schools in india is restricted to that 43.5% private unaided schools who are not getting any funds from anywhere the government schools private aided schools have not done much with the online classes because of one other the reasons the private schools from the very month of april are striving hard to sustain striving hard to create a niche for themselves striving hard to ensure that they stay valuable at this time of crisis no doubt covid 19 has brought in lot of uncertainty but then that is the best part of the entire crisis when things are uncertain you get a bigger opportunity to address you get bigger opportunity to prove that your institution is one of the best institution that is capable of managing that is capable of surviving and that is capable of performing against any uncertainty inside or outside the campus so my dear colleagues principals leaders school owners uncertainty is that test that we all need to pass 
this is the situation which is demanding exploration we have to get into the mode which inspired vasco da gama which inspired columbus to go and explore the world go and find new opportunities to perform and whenever you are facing uncertainty uncertainty is always good to have somebody who inspires you if you are in a truly new space new space right now is a covid 19 you won't always know the answers like there are many things which we are still confused about you need to find a mentor you can see there the present uh, vice president of india who is one of the legend whom i was associated with some years back still i feel that connect the vibes whenever i see him on tv the type of legacy that he is creating is truly inspiring and with the inspiration from leaders like this you can venture into any unknown territory without giving a second thought so i request you to find your own inspiration whether it comes from within or it comes from outside is very much needed to fuel you at this time of crisis take a deep breath look at your audience compose yourself and look at your team the team that is looking at you the team that empowers you as a leader the team which tells you to be honest in your endeavor even if you fail that team that knows that you have a confidence to lead that team that looks at you to get inspiration it's a time my dear leaders to be committed to be passionate to be communicator and most importantly you need to make decisions in life you need to lead as a leader you cannot look at other people to help you to make you to guide you this is a time where you have to lead so during next one and a half hour when we will be talking about this you can note down this phone number you can whatsapp your queries to this number besides putting up it in chat so that i may share with you what is my approach to this remember i am not an authority in this but i am a person who finds more solutions than problems in life it is very important that your audience trusts you you know their problem you know their learning needs and you lead by example so like an educationist i see covid 19 as a big change agent a catalyst there are lessons everywhere the world has never learned so many things in 90 days time what we have seen in april may and june the darwin's theory of survival of the fittest has changed to become survival of the wisest and the most responsible it is important to know that not doing something at this point of time is also being responsible if i decide not to forward a whatsapp message because it is not making sense to me is being responsible if i understand that people may react because of the financial crisis because of the circumstances i still have to maintain my calm is being responsible if people they share problem with me i should not share with them my problem instead of that i should think 
ki what are the alternate that i can offer to that person to become more composed more calm at this time of crisis so when darwin gave the theory of survival of the fittest the word fittest still exist you need to tweak it you need to make it dynamic you may need to make the change in the word fittest you need to make your mind fit your attitude fit your aptitude fit your entire way of looking at something fit improvise adopt and overcome so we need to see covid 19 not just as a crisis we also need to see what are the good things that is capable of bringing so today's topic leadership approach to mitigate lockdown it's very important to understand the word mitigate we all agree that lockdown is absolute all right there were few weeks when you were not supposed to go out it was absolute but then somehow we found some way of managing it so what happened is now when you have some ways of managing it that leads to the term mitigate mitigate means how to reduce the impact mitigate means how to reduce the risk how to stay active and sustainable how to stay performing inspiring and leading is the leadership approach to mitigate the lockdown we need to understand that leadership is not about providing a certain response in a certain situation is it about using your natural leadership strength to inspire and motivate others there is no particular leadership style with which you can defeat coronavirus remember the cricket match you have people all around you who are raising doubts who are raising concerns who are asking why so it is very important that you need to come out with something which is more inspiring which is more vivid and which gives you lot of alternate to try so if you go into the formal theory you have many ways and many uh, term which are used for the leadership what i realized in during the crisis that we need to reinvent we need to develop our own leadership style it is very important we need to remake we need to revive we need to renovate we need to revamp we need to reaffirm we need to renew we need to modify most importantly we need to reverse sometime so it is very important to be you than chasing somebody then trying to be somebody and you land up becoming nobody if your strength is being communicative use more of it if your strength is taking decisions take more of it if your strength is more failure less success do fail because success do matter but do not stop anything that stops is will finish we have to keep on restructuring and moving on so while going through i realize ki visionary leadership is something which will make us go beyond we have to be at a position where we can see more than other people who can see it fortunately right now india is under a visionary leader when i say that you can see how the number of corona virus victims have increased in india the central government under the leadership of the visionary leader prime minister narendra modi ji responded as soon as by mid march 
by 28th of february we only had one case in india by 30th of march we got 1251 cases 30th april we got 33610 15th may we got 81970 this was when few states were completely ignoring and were not ready to follow up what the central government was trying to say then and then under some pressure and under democratization and under freedom the government decided to lift the lockdown and then you see what was the impact few days back it was 11 lakh 92 thousand that's the difference between a visionary leader and the leader who fails to lead we need to be visionary we need to see more than what other people can see although we are behind the curtain but we need to understand and we need to get ready with something which is still unseen so imagination is very important we as a school leader need to see many things if you cannot see you cannot plan if you cannot plan you will fail so fail to plan is plan to fail we need to understand it if you're not planning you cannot do much looking solutions outside waiting for your governing your parent body to come and tell you what to do will be some time too late we need to understand this timing is very important for example in indian school bosha when we started working on this project what was our approach 14th march was the complete lockdown here in oman muscat we got and this lockdown was correctly like what uh, the present central government did this lockdown was sudden and strategic it was surgical strike no one was prepared and ready so people they understood the meaning of word surgical in a more better way when they experience covid 19 surgical is something like this you are unprepared and it comes so what is the moral of the story if you are leader you cannot be unprepared you have to be always prepared when your team is sleeping you need to burn midnight lamp so that when they wake up they can see the new sunrise so when this surgical lockdown happened all schools all cbsc schools all indian schools immediately had these challenges internal examination were halfway through some exams were still left new grade 10 and 12 classes were running because generally we start by first week of march and some of the great schools even started by the end of february 10th and 12th board examinations were going on some papers were yet to happen new session admissions were going on final promotion ptm was pending books and stationery sales was there recruitment and reporting of teachers were happening parent orientation for the new session was there fee collection was undergoing closing of the year was pending you need to sit down and list your challenges you need to see what you all need to plan for so what happened is the surgical lockdown brought these immediate challenges to all of us and then we started moving in what next what next nobody had a clear picture for how many days that was the best part of it the best way to be secure is when you cover your insecurity so the month of march went into managing these things somehow it was end of the year haphazardly people they did all right some people who were planned it well did it well and then came april the new session challenges 
Now, most of us were knowing about this. Why? Because we have already planned about April and February. So this was not troubling us much. Admissions were already in the process. Uniform and books, we were thinking now what to do. Parents and children cannot come to the school to purchase. What we will do with the books? New teachers were ready to join. They have resigned from the previous job, but they cannot go and join the new school. Why? Because the school is locked. Session planning, you have planned the session planning starting from 5th of April, 10th of April with children in the school. Now the entire game rule has changed. You need to reset, replan because the face to face will become online classes. Many schools, their affiliation, their extension of affiliation got stuck. Classroom furnishing, half ready. Transport and support staff were panicking. If the bus will not go, why school will pay them salary? From where the school will get transportation costs and all those things were happening. So, a lot of uncertainty is there. Academy calendar was up for the toss. We don't know when the school will open, whether we will have the first periodic happening, not happening. A lot of questions, but there were no answers because it was a complete lockdown. When there were no answers, somebody has to take the responsibility of answering those questions. And the best person to do that is you. Looking at somebody who has the same information that you have will not work. Looking at your governing body, which also has the same thing, which also sometime under the political compulsion will give you different dates. Initially, they said by 15 June schools will open, then it became 15 July, then it came August. Today morning, they are telling they don't know when. You cannot live the life of uncertainty. It's your children's future. Somebody has to take a call, either you or somebody else. It's always good because you are the leader. It's always good because the people are looking at you. So it is a must that you need to lead from front. Moving on, we establish this. We have to move forward. We cannot sit and cry because we are the leaders. When we cry, nobody sees our tears. When we empathize, nobody sees our action. But then this is the way the life has to be. When we talk about the way forward, we need to seek first thing is the inspiration. You need to keep yourself moving. I have got a wonderful set of mentors whom I follow. Some of them, they push me by criticizing. Some of them, they pull me when I'm down. Some of them, they inspire me out of context. Some of them, they are just there without staying connected to me. And still I get the inspiration from them because I know that they are there. So even though they, when they are invincible, they are not visible, I know that they are invincible. They are strong, they can save me, they can protect me, they can guide me, they can equip me, they can give me the skill set to counter any situation. So when we talk about the way forward, get an inspiration for yourself. If you don't have, get a book for yourself, read the book. And remember, it is a time to start. Get your mindset where you start. You challenge your own assumptions. You frame problems and you find an answer to that problem. Dear leaders, the COVID-19 is a time to get uncomfortable. If you are comfortable, you are, not doing, you are not doing anything. You have to become uncomfortable, whether it is getting a fees, whether it is motivating your teachers, whether you are getting your children online to the classes, whether you are giving them something the best that you can do at this point of time, you need to get uncomfortable. If you are not uncomfortable, you need to introspect. You're not doing enough. So it is very important when you're talking about the way forward, get an inspiration for yourself, inspiration in person, Inspiration in book, inspiration is something that inspires you from your personal life. 
inspiration from the parents inspiration from anybody who makes sense to you and please get uncomfortable if you don't get anxiety at this point of time if your heartbeat is not racing if you don't get butterfly in your stomach you're not doing anything you need to do that then only there is a fun in being leader now leadership during covid 19 gives you an opportunity to leave a legacy choice is yours so how we do that the one way of doing that is by learning and congratulations to you all attending this particular seminar that shows that you have an intent to learn that intent to attend something where you think you will get some more insight into how to manage your problem next you need to simplify things covid 19 if you see the covid 19 virus picture also it looks so scary and complicated you as a leader need to simplify the entire working of your team you cannot say what you were doing is the way you will do no it's a new situation is a new crisis you need to simplify by taking everybody into consideration you need to demonstrate talking alone will not work you need to walk the talk you need to demonstrate from the front you need to do a demo classes you need to do a demonstration of the new product you need to convince you need to face the parents you need to face authorities you need to convince the school management committee you need to convince each and every person who makes sense to you at during this crisis time you need to support this is not a time to compete one of the best thing that happens with the school here in oman that we are here 21 indian schools community indian schools and all 21 has a strength of 21 imbibed into one every school has a power of 21 schools that is the support that we derive when we fight with somebody like covid 19 our best practices goes to all the schools our knowledge sharing goes to all the schools our resources that is making us so strong at this time of crisis find friends cut down your enemies get out of your egos collaborate and defeat so getting support giving support is ultimate when you're talking about the leadership and most important is innovate when i say the 21 schools they combine together to create a power which every school has it means that every school based on its own team size its own team skill set its own resources its own mission and vision statement need to reinvent that innovation and that practice and then apply it to their own system you cannot copy and paste in life just by keeping your name sharukh khan you will not become sharukh khan copy paste will not work it is very important that you need to learn you need to simplify you need to demonstrate you need to support and you need to most importantly innovate ladies and gentlemen it is time to lead and inspire till now i have not started my conference why because i want to get into the mode of being inspired because that is a must moving on remember we all sometime when we become idealistic we talk the schools are for the people and community religiously sincerely all schools in oman are the community schools no profit no law schools they are for the people and community and the same model can be replicated anywhere in the world if the people have good intention if the people have good leadership 
and if the people have the community to serve the community. So design thinking encourages schools to focus on the people and community they are created for. This is very important. In India, all schools are created under the society and trust. Society and trust is to serve the people. So when you are created for people and community, you have to think about it. You have to get better connected to them. You have to offer a service which is at par with the best, irrespective of what they pay. Low cost education doesn't mean that the Ganga originates from Yamunotri and goes to Pakistan. Why? Because you are paying less to me. Irrespective of what you are charging, irrespective of what type of school you are, you have to give the best. You have to work on your outcomes and you have to work on a relationship. This relationship word is very important because this is something which we are missing when it comes to schools. We always see the parent, we always see the civil authority, we always see the governing body as alien, interfering, and restricting bodies without realizing that the main objective behind the creation of the school was to serve the people and the community. Design thinking brings you back to that. We need to appreciate, we need to look into, and then we need to move on. So now we are getting into the formal discussion of design thinking and then I will be, this is a case study model, how we have done it in Indian school Bosch, how you can do it in your school, depending upon what type of team you have, what type of uh, support you have, what type of progressive management you have, what type of problem you are facing, what are the alternatives that you can try. It goes in that way. Now design thinking comes in a different forms. The first one is, EDPT. Being a virtual platform, we cannot have a refreshment break, we cannot have a lunch break. Two hours, we will be engaging, serving each other dishes, drinks, food intellectually, food for thought, juice to fuel you and ideas to make you play. So the first model is called EDPT. This is developed by Institution of Design Stanford. Why I'm telling this? Because you should know there are various models. Second is called discovery, interpretation, ideation, experimentation, evolution. Then there is a deep design thinking model called discover, empathize, experiment, and produce. What is more important is Design thinking is a blend of heart, hand, and head. Consider hand as your teachers and students. Consider heart as the profession that you are. And consider head everything that challenges you intellectually. So, Sometimes people would use the word global pandemic. I was thinking why we have to use the word global when it is already a pandemic. Pandemic is something which is global in nature. But then what happened, we always have a habit of oversimplifying things. There's nothing wrong in it, as long as people, they get it right. Many of us, we think design thinking is an industrial model. Yes, it is. But then there are a lot of good practices in the industry which can go down to the schools because they are about the system and processes. Design thinking doesn't have to do anything with the engineering drawing. It doesn't have to do anything with art. It doesn't have to do anything with creativity. It is entirely something that is related to the process. How you think a design, how you think a process, how you can take a problem through certain stages to solve the problem. Most importantly, it is important to remember that design thinking is a non-linear process. 
after every step you keep on coming back you have to confirm that that the problem that you are trying to solve is ultimately benefiting human being at the core if you remember the narendra modi's two days back uh, address he said human being need to be at the core of each and every developmental activity that happens in india all other things can wait design thinking helps us to challenge assumptions it redefines and it refines the problem most importantly it creates innovative solutions so in today's presentation when i am taking you to the first model which is called e dipti why because this is the oldest this was made by proposed by the institute of design stanford this is the most accepted model so i have taken this and applied to the education system in the beginning of uh, july month uh, with one of my mentor i did a session on design thinking in education this time we are moving on to leadership i said earlier so the entire approach is with evidences i will be telling what we did how we did and how we moved on so as we move on the first and the most important stage is what the honorable prime minister said keep human being in the core the stage one is empathize this is very important and you can see the picture there when you see other person's perspective from his eyes not from your eyes is what is called empathize we often get confused between sympathy and empathy why because sympathy came much earlier than the empathy sympathy is a feeling of compassion and sorrow whereas empathy means putting yourself in the shoes of another seeing something from the other person's perspective so how we did this so when you are empathizing as a leader the first question that comes to you is empathize with whom so you have to have a clarity on that and most important is empathize with yourself why because if you are not in harmony with yourself and in the process if you lose your life you get diabetic you get blood pressure you get heart attack and you get other type of sickness how you will lead first thing is be in harmony with yourself empathize yourself know your strength know your weaknesses stay if you have anxiety stay out of uh, something which surprises you the second one is empathize with your staff why because you are responsible for them you are there for them if they are not there you are not there so you need to empathize with your staff third is you need to empathize with the parents because they are the client they are the people who are trusting you they are the people who are sending their future their dreams to your place so you need to understand and empathize them fourth you need to empathize with the students fifth you need to empathize with your school management why because they are putting up the time resources vision mission dreams you cannot say no this is not the time you have to be with them you have to empathize with the society you live in you have to empathize with the media sometime media will show something which you are not liking that doesn't mean that you go and fight with them it's just a one day news it will go off the second day there will be some other news don't add on to your enemies empathize with your competitors my dear remember this collaborate with your neighbor school cbsc has come out with the learning hubs why because it is the best way to share best practices and learn across and the most importantly empathize with the authorities civil district state central 
all these authorities which are governed by the public opinion has their own pressure system so being the first stage of design thinking is you have to identify and then you need to have some priority list in which you should do there is an order in which it should come you cannot keep yourself at the end why because you are the engine engine has to be strong you are the person who is going to lead it you have to be strong you have to be on the top and then comes the staff the staff that fuels the entire engine and makes it move then come the parents who pay for that fueling then come the students who are traveling on that particular train then comes the management who owns that particular train and then the society media competitors and authority you need to be very clear with what with important point also empathize with unknown strangers why because the blessings will come from them because all other people are related to you unknown is no way related to you right then question comes empathize what all right so first thing is empathize their concerns they have doubts empathize their uncertainty if you are getting full salary it doesn't mean that you go and preach everybody okay you have to understand that people they live in uncertainty and they are requiring some type of support then empathize their reasoning people will come and reason with you don't get angry on that empathize with their thoughts sometimes teachers will come and they ask you a thought which has not come in your mind but they will come and ask you sir do you think uh, this month you will uh, give us the last month due also this is a thought that they are speaking up that doesn't mean that you should go and beat them up if will come you will see otherwise if you are more hurry go leave and blah 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 you have to think about it then their perspective their insecurity there is a difference between uncertainty and insecurity and most important their wisdom you have children studying from the different strata of the community like in my school which is a community school the only criteria to get admission is that you need to be indian expat now whether you are a delhi wage person or you are a ceo of a comp company both have a right to study in my school so the wisdom is very important all right we need to understand that everybody is not coming from the same salary bracket some people are coming from a different salary so then it comes empathize what so previous slide was empathize with now empathize what and then denial and reactions also you have to do empathize with denial you are you are telling your team that this is what it is some people say no 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 we know that you still have more than that like sometime parents will say no you are earning lot of profit for last 10 years now this time you should not have a financial crisis and you should give us a free education you are denying that they are not accepting it reactions their reaction should not be countered by your reaction listen to it moving on empathize how so with what and now comes how first is observe them i believe you all know that uh, when it comes to communication 30% is what you speak and 70% is your body language observe engage watch and listen to them feel with warmth understand them rephrase and confirm ki what your understanding is right or not educate them if they are wrong means help them with the details if they understand it support them sometime educating will still not work you need to support and sometime you need to request them so when we talk about empathizing the third level is how we should do it so you have many ways of doing it 
sometimes just listening to somebody, consoling somebody, consoling somebody, spending time with somebody is empathizing. So it is very important that being the first step, you should know with whom you are doing, how you are doing, what are the things you have to look into, and then move on. Most importantly in the first stage of design thinking is stay connected. This is the golden rule. Some of you have asked how to make parents convince that what is the problem you are facing as a teacher? What is the problem you are facing as a school? Only solution is stay connected to them, talk to them, reach out to them, listen to them, find midway win-win situation. Everybody is in crisis. Community schools here in Oman has offered a huge range of subsidies and discounts to the parents because they understand being a community school, it is our moral responsibility to support the community. The schools back in India need to think about it. If you go for the 100% recovery of the fees, you will not reach anywhere. You have to find out, you have to bring an element of differentiation. You have to understand, you need to put up a committee to decide. And then based on the struggle, you need to support. Families are getting COVID affected. No, they cannot go for a work. You have to give them something. All right, so you need to look about this and then move on. So stay connected is very important. Now, what we did for this also, when we talked about the online classes and all those things, the biggest concern which parents are having, it is not safe. Correct. But in that case, keeping knife in kitchen is also not safe. Keeping gas cylinder in kitchen and cooking on the gas cylinder is also not safe. Putting CNG in your car is also not safe. So what is the alternate? Just by identifying it not being safe is not the end of the story. What are the alternates? How you can make it safe is what you need to look into. So when we started empathizing it, we started listening to the people and then we started realizing it. Ki there are something which we need to do it. All right. So this is, this is the way it goes on. All right. So right now I will play one video for you. This video was created by our school. The purpose of this particular video was to educate parents about the cyber safety. Why cyber safety? Because the concern was that. So the only way to move ahead online is to make people secure and have a proper understanding about cyber safety. Now, I, I don't know whether you can, uh, I have activated the sound or not. So I will play this, but then somebody has to write it in the chat box to confirm whether they're able to hear the sound or not. Please put uh, in the chat box. Wonderful, thank you very much for putting it in the chat box. So what we did is we created a video. So enjoy the video. took up the responsibility of educating our parents by engaging industrial experts. The first session on cyber safety was not done by the school. Why? Because we are not an authority in this. We have not worked on one-to-one -one basis when it comes to the cyber safety. So we have engaged an industrial expert who was one of our parents. Most of the Indian schools, they fail to realize the power of the parent community. It is very important that we need to use them to educate our children because educating children is everybody's responsibility. 
So what happened? We made video and then we circulated video and then we had a couple of sessions on that. So that the parents, they somehow came in agreement. Ki, yes, there are a few concerns, but it can be managed. So as a Bostarian big ideas, what we did as a part of the design thinking stage one was when the schools were first time locked down, we started a parent engagement series as a warm up. The purpose was to, without telling them that the online classes are coming, we wanted them to enjoy and learn from it. If they can learn from it, we assume they will appreciate that there is possibility of learning online. So it will bring down the, you know, the chaos and it will bring down the anxiety in them. So what happened? We started with this. I will show you a sample of that, how we did. Then came the teacher support IT integration. Now, most of the schools, the mistake, what they do is they ask their IT department to teach English, math, science, social science, and language teachers about the IT integration. They cannot teach IT integration. They can only teach IT tools. Integration is the responsibility of the leadership. It is the responsibility of the principal. It is the responsibility of the vice principal and the assistant vice principal that how you can apply IT in the teaching of mathematics, IT in the teaching of science, IT in the teaching of language. What are the resources? What are the tools? How to use it? All right. So if you give a hammer to a five-year-old child, for him, only use of hammer is hitting on floor. That is what he can do. But the uses of hammer are multiple, multidimensional. Who will teach that? The leadership has to take the responsibility of doing it. But most of the schools, the mistake they did was they asked their IT person who is a hardware guy, in certain cases who was a software person, to teach teachers. And then teachers were knowing how to use it, but they were not knowing where to use it. Problem. Then what happened, the series of parent awareness session we did. We did a lot of orientation with the parents. We also did orientation for the children. We created academic helpline, principal in lead. I, as a principal, was leading 24 into 7 academic helpline. Teacher can send me WhatsApp message. Parents can send me WhatsApp message. Instantly, I used to reply. Why? Because when it is a crisis, when your anxiety level is high, the immediate answer is the best answer. You cannot hide at this time. You cannot tell, no, you go to subject teacher and ask, you go to PE teacher and ask, no, the principals need to take the lead here. When parents, they hear something from the horse's mouth, that is the end of the discussion. You need to protect your team. You cannot expose your team. That is the responsibility. That is the work for which you are paid. That is the responsibility that you have taken by becoming the principal. So it is very important that you need to be in the lead. If anybody has to have a sleepless night, it needs to be the principal. It cannot be the teachers. Why? Because they have to interact with the children next day. You are the back end support. Come and take the lead. Another important thing which we did was learning support, course book dispatch. The children need to feel that they have graduated from the previous class to the new class. Classes are not happening. New teachers are not there. New dress they have not purchased. Books they don't have. There is no feel of newness. So is Indian school Boucher what we decided? We immediately took the decision. Our school management committee, which is so progressive, immediately decided, let's dispatch books through courier company. And by the third week of April, my all children were having book in their hands. They realized they have graduated because they had something of the next year with them. You need to think and then move on. For the online classes, we took into consideration siblings' consideration. Every house will not have five laptops. Father is also working from home. Mother is also working from home. Two children are there. Everybody cannot have a laptop. Technically, you cannot work using your mobile phone because of the screen size. So you need to work on this. Then the cyber security session, the video that was shown to you. So we empathize. We realize the problem which the people may have. And then we move on. And then we did a survey to see whether we are on the right track or not. 
तो द फर्स्ट सर्वे टू टेक पेरेंट ऑन आर साइड वॉज टू चेक विद देम कि हैव योर चाइल्ड स्टार्टेड अटेंडिंग फिफ्थ क्लासरूम डिजिटल लर्निंग सेशंस आर नॉट 99.5 परसेंट पेरेंट दिस सेड यस माय चाइल्ड इज अटेंडिंग दैट ब्रिंग्स द कॉन्फिडेंस दैट द वार्म अप दैट यू डिड वॉज इफेक्टिव then we went on to more questions have you attended the academic orientation conducted by the principal this is the crisis time you have to take the lead all right again we got a wonderful response to that then we moved on do you agree that the online security is everybody's responsibility now you see we are doing a responsibility sharing with the parents why because online security is everybody's responsibility we educated them we made them realize that with their support we can make the complete online experience a wonderful learning experience for a child then we also discuss about the do you agree that the everyday classroom id password saving name gr number blah 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 these things makes the classroom more secure and engage they said yes then we sent we also talked about the different thing we use quizlet powerpoint videos web based activities pdf worksheets live interaction is it engaging and exciting your child they said yes then we also checked that the book that we are delivering has reached to them or not they said yes then we confirm is the quality and preparation of fifth classes for the bocher school facilitator is exciting interesting and engaging they said yes so when you have so many years coming up you understand that you are on the right track it is not about winning it's about the journey covid 19 is a journey you cannot just win and then relax you have to bring on the innovations and then move on and go on and then so on all right now this survey was done to confirm whether we are on the right track or not whatever step that we have taken is making sense to you know and then moving on let's see another video how we have engaged the parents everybody was applauding doctors police and civil defense some people were applauding teachers but nobody was applauding the children who were the biggest change of the entire process indian school bosher decided to applaud the kids not just their own kids every kid in the world <laughs> very important because if your children are excited they will inspire you the biggest thing as a principal which i am missing is not meeting my children when they arrive at school every day in the morning that is something which inspires that is something that gives you a purpose that is something which adds so much of value to your day to day work it is very important that you need to find to keep these young warriors inspired happy 
and most importantly you have to listen to them because this is a time where they are at home and nobody listens to them at home so as a part of the stage one of design thinking we looked into every aspect who is the person attached to us what are their concerns and how we have to do so we have lined up all type of problems to move on now then we move on to the second stage of design thinking which is called design means identify the problem identify the challenges and then decide what you have to do there is no point empathizing with somebody if you don't take action and support and look into their problem identifying and confirming the problem should lead to finding that missing block and fixing that missing block so that the person sees value in your association with him or her so that was our stage 1 in design thinking empathize look into each and every person who is related to you now we move on to the second part once you have seen there are so many things now what is the second part now as an empathy you got many problems now you have to look into you have to bring the focus and clarity to define user needs and problem the user can be any okay it's not only the parents and most importantly you have to keep your institution at the core of the bull's eye why because the connecting factor is the institution your teachers are not connected to you at personal level they are connected because they are the part of the same institution your children are connected to you because they are the part of the same institution so it is very important that we need to bring focus and clarity on this it's very important that we need to do how we are going to do it it's very important that as a leader your responsibility is to sustain and grow your institution if you are not able to do you are not fit to be at that particular position leave that position for somebody else who is more competent to make your institution grow leadership is not about sitting on a chair leadership is a verb it requires an action so it is very important that you should bring clarity and focus to the entire thing now what happened is when the april month started many of us have encountered a new set of challenges what was that first thing is we had children in the school whom nobody knows because there was no orientation they never came to school we had a problem with internet connectivity we had a problem of device availability we have never experienced this problem in life till mid march online teaching training tech solution how to do the web conferencing and all those things social agitation was going against uh, the schools media and government every day the new philosophy was coming up there were no books and stationery work from home which was earlier sounding like a joke has become the new normal job salary uncertainty all these problems we have never experienced in the month of april believe me so when we started working on stage 2 of design thinking we realized that these are the issues which need to be addressed and we have to address it fast so what happened is we went into certain ways of doing it the first collect data if you remember we did a survey the survey was for the collecting data we don't go by the national data what what uh, national data will do for my school which only has a limited availability and who, which is only good for uh, uh, the local area where it is established so we have to collect our own data collecting data is very easy task okay because many people they participate the difficult task is analyzing and synthesizing data we took up a solution to do it ready made so that we don't waste time on that and instantly we can do it once you synthesize your data you understand what is the focus and frame of the problem that you need to understand once your problem statement is established bring your team and inspire your team ki my dear the problem is big but then we are known for doing big things in life so let's do it then we need to identify the criteria for evaluating and competing ideas we need to empower our team and make them understand that they can take certain decisions which should be in align with the mission and vision statement of the school we need to capture the hearts and mind of the people we meet and most importantly we need to move on 
So for identifying the problem, we approach to the 5W and 1H problem. We also sometimes explore the 5Y approaches, which I have learned at the beginning of this particular month from one of my mentors. So when you apply any problem that undergoes these many whys and how, you understand to the core essence of the problem. We also did that. Once you are ready with that, you have to prioritize your problem. But the funniest part was being a school principal, you don't have one problem that you can prioritize on. You have plethora of problem, you have a multiple problem that you have to meet and you have to resolve on daily basis. You have to manage the human resources, you have to make sure that the staff is having a sound mental health, they don't do anything on screen which creates a problem. You need to make sure that the people who are working from home are still accountable for their performance. You need to upgrade your IT infrastructure. You need to follow and abide by the government restrictions. You have to bring in innovations. You have to manage parents and support parents. You have, <coughs> you have to look into the finances and make sure that you have enough funds to run and do. And most importantly, you need to inspire and stay optimistic. In industry, you can have one problem at a time. In politics, you can have one problem at a time. But being a school principal, being a school leader, you will always have a multiple problems. So now when you have a multiple problem, what you can do, you can stagger them. To what I will do in April, what I will do in May, what I will do in June, July, August, and September. If you stagger them, and I don't know like why the everybody was thinking by July the school will open, all right? Still, I can very confidently say until unless the world invents the vaccine and vaccine reaches to each and every person on the earth, it is not safe and the schools will always be vulnerable if they try to open before that. It is about the young lives. We need to be blunt and we need to be straightforward in that. So when we will discuss about this, I will also be discussing that. So you need to plan. And your leadership has to be like this, multi-directional. When you will take U-turn, when you take right turn, when you take left turn, depending upon the problems you have to do, you have to support teachers differently, you have to do online resources differently, you have to move on, which is very important. So when we say multi-directional, there is ascending, there is a descending, there is horizontal, there is emotional, there is personal, there is professional. You have to take care of everything. Now, what we did for that, we started a parent learning series. So we realized that parent, uh, even when we are doing survey, sometimes they will still have a question, sir, is it safe as a leader? I My responsibility is to convince them. So we did something, okay? We, I'll let you know in the coming slides. There were a lot of media reports about the Zoom security. If you see the 90% of the conferences, webinar that is happening in India, are on the Zoom platform that talks about the user friendliness of Zoom. In between, China issue has come in. Some people still trust and believe Zoom is Chinese. Yes, it's difficult to change the mindset, but it's okay. Do what uh, makes sense to you. Then we realize key teacher training need is a must. And teacher cannot be bombarded with the training. They should be given one at a time. So we have staggered our training module first. Okay, first on Zoom training, then this particular tool, then Quizlet, then other things, so that they they enjoy the journey into the IT world. We also worked on the fund flow strategies. When the books started reaching home, the children they were excited about the books, so the fund flow has improved. Online learning concerns, we brought in the conferences and other things. We made the children learning on online very good. We made sure that all type of optimism stays all time high. Sitting and crying was not an option with us. So what happened? We have identified the problems as a stage two of design thinking. But identifying the problem is not solving the problem. So there comes the third stage of design thinking called ideate. Now the entire meaning of brainstorm got changed with this particular word called ideate. 
in school brainstorming means anything and everything related unrelated is called brainstorming okay this is a technical uh, term in which the school have used but when we talk about ideate it is not like that brainstorm has its own stages in ideate we have followed 4b approach what is that one is called brainstorming one is called brain dumping one is called brain writing and one is called brain walking so this is called 4b approach i did now listen first stage we have empathized second stage we identified the problem now we are bringing in ideas to find a way to solve the problem so the way to for solve the problem we have used this 4b approach storming dumping writing walking now brainstorming is very good why because it brings in lot of ideas from everybody and people can write and they can share so wonderful you you get a huge number of ideas but then what happens the comes the sage number two brain dumping brain dumping means making sure that everything which you need to earn learn during your discussion of brainstorming you should dump it this is what is called brain dumping so brain dumping is the dumping of free up mental energy and allow free thinking not just holding on to your own thoughts unfinished tasks unexplored ideas but also creating an open mindset to listen to other ideas is called brain dumping okay so that part of your brain that part of your idea that part of your thought that part of your worry that part of your trouble that part of your which identifies problem more than solution need to be dumped in trash bin when you are doing idea stage now once it is done you are left with a clear idea in your mind what way you are going to do it so there comes the brain writing sit down be in complete silence and then instead of criticizing the other participants idea sit down and write to what are the possibilities that is called brain writing and once you do that comes the last stage called brain walking what does it mean when you have done the first three stages get up go around meet other people who are there for the ideate in that particular room see what they are writing learn from their writing make your idea more comprehensive come back and then make your idea a complete idea to present to the team this is called 4b approach so brainstorming is lot of ideas brain dumping is all that is unnecessarily dump is brain writing is bring the idea on a paper and brain walking is improvise your idea to make it a better idea but when you are doing this there are some rules for it okay you cannot do like uh, anything and everything approach first thing is you have to set a time limit so if suppose covid 19 you are working on the strategy you cannot say okay after one year you can come and give me idea no it has to be a time bound approach all right it has to be a time bound approach so first thing second is make everybody get the problem clearly third is defer judgment means don't say right or wrong let them come at no criticism go on fourth encourage the weird and wild ideas why because these guys you know add humor these guys give you a surprise ideas these guys are the guys who think out of box these guys are the guys who will really make everything great point number fifth aim for quantity very important more ideas means more chances of you hitting the right idea sixth build on each other's idea now start collating and collaborating and come out to the win solution and most important seventh be visual if you see on every slide there is some picture that you can see and that picture correlate to what i am trying to put it up because picture is a worth thousand word sometime i may use a wrong word to describe a picture but picture still may tell you the right meaning of it so we need to do it right so we started moving on the stage number 
with all type of thing one conversation every time so that everybody learns to do it so as a part of third what we did we did a warm up series that i have informed to you we started real classes on zoom with moderators this is very important in online classes you have to have somebody who can moderate your own teacher sometime cannot moderate because he will be or she will be engaged with the teaching he or she will be focusing on certain number of children you need to have another person in the class who should moderate who should ensure that everything is well who should ensure that children are focused and if there is any problem he can reply instead of somebody else for example like today's webinar i am talking to you and there is four five uh, people who are in the backdrop who are representing milestone who are regulating less of the activities on this so moderate moderation is very important anybody who has run a zoom classes without moderation has done a blunder so it is very important to have moderators we 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 have moderators in our all our classes then teacher training it and new innovations frequent innovations keep bringing new things then beyond core activities you cannot just restrict to the science maths english and social science being pe being dance being music all other things i will show you the samples blended learning blended learning and blended assessment is very important i will show you the example web solutions like learn flex quizlet augmented reality lot of things are there and again the fifth one is keeping optimism all time high is very important all right so you have to be innovative that is the essence that we need to do it all right moving further the most difficult part as you all realize was the parent but we appreciate that they are there we appreciate the value that add to the entire system everybody knows how to raise children except the people who have them believe me i also struggle with my own son okay i can manage 2000 children at school but i struggle with my own son so being parent is different and principal is different all right so what we did i was talking about the parent warm up series all right what we did we started a five episode program to engage parents so in that we started using inspiring advertisement there were uh, inspiring movies that we have shared with them we have also discussed with them how to learn learning techniques and other things with them so that somehow they start realizing that online also things are possible so this was one of the reason why we connected them people were thinking we were just simply doing no we were establishing our credential we were in engaging them to tell them ki my dear online learning is very much possible lot of international schools are doing it indian schools somehow due to finances and the parental mindset and the community requirement was not able to do 100% but it is very much feasible which we need to explore we came out with the strategy for the students what we will do for parents what we will do facilitators what we will do they were our immediate you know uh, focus and for everyone we also included the indoor family games and activity why because activities are important to keep them fresh and then moving on we have also published these all are before the session started this was our warm up this was our credentials to establish that yes what we are going to do can be done in a right way so what kindergarten will have how they will get what is the life skill they will have the story books moving on everything was taken care of so that before they move on to the journey all right before they move on to the journey they have experienced it they trust the system they trust the school to move on and then we have also spread awareness about how screen time in terms of playing video games and online virtual classes are different why because this was a learning opportunity when you watch tv there is nobody comes and engages you when you play on video game it is only between you and the device but when it is on virtual learning classes my dear it is almost virtual we engage children about the physical wellness i will show you the program how we do it we have pictures they are static pictures they are not the moving pictures you need to understand moving picture exhaust you more than the static picture when you see an video your eyes engagement is more your stress level is more but when you have a static picture it is less 
we have a teacher who is there on the screen who comes and knocks you and then tells you hi how are you what is the answer for this and all that you have a whiteboard solution where the people they write you have interaction happening you have an e content like destination success learn flicks and other things you have a youtube as well as the self made videos you have a powerpoint going on you have a question answers you have a quiz that is happening you have e book you have assignments you have assessment this is not a normal screen timing this is a blended learning it is not that you are completely spending time watching video with no interaction no physical activity this is a wholesome package that we created but before giving it to the parent we educated them we told them how this is different from just sitting and watching tv this is the way we moved on and completed stage number 3 now came the time for im implementing all those things so what happen is with this bulb with this our research with our studies and everything we started a huge range of innovations so we started with the idea of a bird we derived the concept we made a design then there was a prototype and then there was a flight and all these things may it is very important that, that when you are with the covid nineteen 19 just start building on what you want get first hand insight see your team skill set don't spend too much time discussing remember what you are testing for take informed decision take everyone along create with students and parents in mind so with all these things my team of teachers the wonderful team of teachers the teachers who have worked extra working on online has made us successfully move through phase 4 of design thinking for that it was very important that we all should know what is inside the box and then think outside the box people they say think outside the box outside the box sometime what you are thinking outside the box is very much available inside the box you cannot call it innovation you have to bring in big ideas to life you have to have a sample mock up ready you need to do alpha testing beta testing you need to build share and reflect so when we are into stage number 4 what we did we started delivering the books all these guys who can see, you see here in picture is the team indian school bosher these are the teachers these are the admin staff when the, there was a lockdown these people they took a rest to come and support for the cause cause was education we planned it we move on because everybody thought a dance and music classes cannot happen we brought it again in the reality segment now we are further building on that is a new area for us we started music and dance classes right so the children they get activity and they realize that everything is possible we also started the counselor support system counselor support system means counselor is asked to visit online classes randomly browse and then see whether the any child who is looking disturbed any child who is not focusing any child who is showing restlessness take down the name go to the school record make a phone call do a, a informal chat to find out is there some problem it was just a natural normal behavior so when we talk about the counseling it doesn't mean that the counselors are jobless and they don't have any work to do no they are taking the counseling session they are the observer in the classes they are looking into each and every class and then they try to find out a child whom they need to support and help so this is very important that we as a school need to find work for them we need to understand that how these guys can really go on and make that difference which you and i cannot do because our education our learning is different from theirs they have a talent of looking beyond your face so they are the frequent online class visitors they note down and they are a big support to our innovation then what we did we move on to do our class meetings and class celebration every thursday there is a zoom classroom meeting which we call rendezvous with classmates where they come they they be like a class 
they sing they dance they talk they present the the moderator in that is their class teacher so that they enjoy once because lockdown sometime is depriving us of communication initially we started it with 3 to 9 then we move on to tit a tat we go on to 1 and 2 also now even in the kg also we are doing it anything that my kids are missing we are trying to bring it online to bring that change and ensuring that the children they still enjoy the wonderful experience of being in school another important thing that we do is we have also created you know ar going to the next level so this is one of the trial that we did and then we are planning to give our children assignment to do in english math and other things let's see this video and then move dear customer welcome to mahadev inc as promised we have the nissan gtr 2020 model with the standard with the standard twin turbo 3.8 liter v6 engine which produces 565 horsepower this car is known as the godzilla of the cars as it produces a ton, enormous amount of torque and is able to give high performance we give you the nissan gtr 2020 model join the gtr family now a lot of creative assignments teachers can do you are using ar technique similarly you can see one our teacher also talking about something hi dear children welcome to today's class today we are going to learn about enigma machine the enigma machine is an encryption device it's used in the early to mid 20th century mainly for commercial diplomatic and military communication and it uses the plain test all right hi dear children dear welcome to today so most important is in indian school boshka we are trying to kill covid 19 by bringing in innovation every week every day to keep our children interested and engaged i remember one of the question which was there in the registration form where the people have asked how to engage a children only answer is with frequent and regular innovation do something which they enjoy and then around that you bring bring in your education requirement you cannot simply go and tell what you want you have to go and appreciate what they want and around that you put your learning objective and teach them we also use lot of learning gamification by using the platform called quizlet similarly we also have brought in the art classes into this one of the wonderful way you can see on the side how my art teachers they climb over and then they put the cameras and then do recently they came out with a wonderful video about integration science into their art and classes all right i would like you to see so there are there are videos like this which they have and then they are exciting children every day there is a surprise for them all right so we need to understand it is very important for all of us to keep our children excited then the very important thing hello okay if i want to assess my teacher by asking my child my own child how was his day in the school trust me the yes. next day yes. i will make all teachers out of the so, school uh, why hello yeah yes nahi nahi why nahi hello actually the any... session is very good and one of you should do it hello please ah, keep your correct. mic mute so that i can continue i can hear some yes. noise coming up so the parent it is very important 
all right especially the small children the children with the limited communication skills the children who are more interested in the food that mother has cooked instead of sitting and telling them ki what is this what is not this it is the responsibility of the school and the teachers to tell it to the parents our teachers wonderfully do it on a daily basis by informing parent this topic was taught this is the page number this is the work done what is the activity and all those things then as i told you we are also looking at lot of mental and physical wellness of the children so we yeah. teach them different type of to do it correctly you first need responsible. to look to your right do it slowly while inhaling all as far to the right as you can but without exercise. stressing it then slowly move your gaze to the left while exhaling remember that you should Every perform the exercise very slowly to match the right brain and the left brain activities to make sure that the children they enjoy and below that you see there is also a report that comes from the class whether the eye exercise was done or not whether there was a finger exercise done or not so that no teacher is skipping these important yeah. parts which are the innovative part of our exercise another important thing the innovation at the fourth stage of the design thinking that we do is we also update parent about the weekly uploading that we do on learning management system because many time parents due to their own busy schedule they fail to log in and they fail to see so what happen we also send them a weekly report so that they are updated remember connecting with the parent is very important if you miss that connect you will have lot of problem during the online teaching you are not seeing anybody only way is to stay connected and that connection will make your parent understand your effort and then know you we also do lot of virtual field trips and simulations for our children for example see the first one this is a virtual field trip for the taj mahal all right without going out because going out is not possible so what i will do i will make them to go for the virtual trip make them see when i am talking to them about the history of social science similarly see the below video this is about the physics about the this is the simulation which is about the friction and thrust mass and the force so if you increase the body size how it becomes and all that children can do it on their own and they can enjoy we also make them visit different type of thing otherwise which they were missing in the part of it when we are talking about the physics topic when we are talking about the action reaction these type of activities are brought in and then they are made the part of the presentation to go on i am very proud of my teachers who are doing it so fast so professional and then making things happen because they want to do it they understand the children have a right to learn and they need to do that extra at this time of crisis for everybody so we bring in lot of innovation this is also one of the video of the celebrations that we speed up you can see it on the side the children are going to all right so this is also there then most importantly most revolutionary is the periodic assessment some of you have asked this question how to do this if you don't assess what is the guarantee that you have taught assessment is the reflection of learning in isb kindergarten also we do the assessment kg also we do the assessment why because we have completed 45 days of online classes and then what we did for grade 3 to 9 we went for artificial intelligence proctored based assessment which is very futuristic generally iit and uh, neat children will have those type of tests but we said no we will do it why because my children deserve the best they deserve something which they will otherwise face in the later part of their life we tied up we conducted it we rethought the entire assessment and we trained them and then these children had a wonderful time giving the assessment for the assessment for 3 to 9 was ai proctor based for grade 1 and 2 it was a blended periodic assessment when i say blended periodic assessment what does it mean ki there was some part which they were supposed to video record and send some part they were supposed to do offline click and send and some part they were supposed to do sitting in front of the teacher and then talking to teacher live and then reflecting on that 
for example see this particular sheet this is this is a sheet of our uh, grade 1 and 2 assessment so in english their first assessment for section was picture description what they will do they can take any picture of their choice at home the parent has to make a video recording and send it to the school second handwriting they have to write offline this is offline activity then about grammar and punctuation oral zoom means teacher will put the question on the whiteboard and there will be option teacher will read out support the child child has to see where to put the punctuation and so on dictation when there is a 15 minutes interaction if you remember here see Role number one to twelve is date one. Means only twelve children will be assessed for the life. So there is the grammar, dictation, reading, and seeing. Even the reading also we did. We gave them the small paragraph, which is a part of their learning, and we have asked them, "Okay, read this." All right. So if they are able to read, why? Because they are trained to read. So then it is fine, and then we give them the grading accordingly. similarly there is a maths activity that was done video recorded offline sharing we brought in lot of blended learning branded assessment to the class then to support the remedial and doubt clearing also we started a session on saturdays by friday saturday is off fair so we said ki those children who are struggling okay this is not a compulsory session those children who are struggling who requires to get an extra help we are there why we are there because we want to support you so this also we started now all these things we are doing by taking the team's help this is my team which is stretching the credit goes to them anything and everything that is innovative the team is ready to try and give their best to it they know that if it is coming their way it is already tried and tested then what happened we we have used zoom extensively india china issue started fair enough we use the polling for knowing the learning objective achieving the learning objective we use the breakout room for the group activities we activate all the security features we have a moderator there we can do large assemblies we do the school assemblies there we we do the spotlight competitions okay debate speech competitions we do the ptm every month till date we have already done three ptms now remember when we were running the school in full year we had 6 ptm online understanding the importance every month we are doing why because we have to stay connected with them. we have to listen to them we have to see what is their problem and then move on and so on so beside all those innovation we also have virtual lab we have a math simulations we have e content distance success milestone learn flex we have a sports and games class happening on zoom and then children are doing we have a cyber safety thing inter house competition have started student council elections e campaign and e voting what political parties in india started about those e campaign and all that they started after we finishing off our student council election all right the children they appeared first time for the e voting on a zoom platform i'm not talking about the school school mein they go to computer lab and they do it we did it in a poll basis on the e platform and the children they had a wonderful time doing it all right so there a lot of thing and then celebrations class assembly everything that you were doing in the school i am doing my team is doing my school is doing my parent community appreciates that and we keep on experimenting and doing the thing so that was the end of the fourth we had other 50 60 innovations which are into the system everything cannot be covered i want you to tell that there are ways out please explore don't stop go out kill the covid 19 lethargy kill, kill the covid 19 lockdown and inspire others now we move on to the last stage of uh, design thinking review and renew so when you are implementing your things what happens so again we went back for the how we will review we will review only by doing a survey so then we went back and then we check do you attend the pfm conductor yes 94.3 trust me 94.3 when we were doing it in the school it was not happening it never went into 90s it was always 80 85 and all that online is empowering us where everybody is a part of this then about was your hrf class mental cordial organized prepared yes very good this gives us the trust that my team is doing a great job i had the isb learning facilitated accessible helpful confident yes very good 
are you pleased with the quality of instructions 93.4 percent parents are telling good what is the worry then and most important is if you don't do the survey you don't have a data to show it to the people who are nagging about the system with the facts and figure you can tell that kids see so many people are telling it's going on well please look into where you are struggling and let me know in case if i can help you with this but otherwise what happen is one or the other way people they struggle and then the people they put the blame on the entire system and then they move on we are not interested in that then this is about that online ai proctor test 90.2% parent they said they have this is an innovation and well done is enough for us to go ahead 88.6% parent they said it brought in seriousness and commitment from every child to do well in the first periodic assessment what is the point of assessment when there is no seriousness and commitment 88.6% online assessment is highest anywhere in the world people when it comes to online you all may have done some distance learning and all those things most of us we don't pass in the first attempt why because we are not serious about it why because there is no teacher to push us we did that then we also surveyed about the different type of platform that we use eth lms milestone study gear app destination learn flix online 96.6% parents they said yes we are using it and we are doing it well another important thing is whenever we do a pfm within 24 hour we take action and we support the parents by telling ki this was your concern this is the way we are solving it see one more video for the pfm that we have done as and when you know there is a remark comes in we release uh, feedback on that what we are going to do why we are going to do what we are not going to do so there is a trust that has happened between the parent and the school community for example this is the way we send them an faq like what the milestone has promised to you that after this uh, uh, seminar we will again send a faq to all the questions that you have raised There's somebody is writing need more lessons for the third language only one class they got so what we are replying as a third language is an auxiliary subject and to keep online classes within the existing time schedule it is not possible we will explore the possibility shortly so we address each and every concern that my parents community are having to move on so many of you have asked how to bring parents to your side when you are running the online classes remember this slide is the answer to the question gain trust by your effort let your action make them believe that you are doing the best for your child and get reflected in your activities earn the trust of your staff students and parents through continuous effort innovation and availability principals need to lead from front there is no other way around during the crisis so design thinking has a five stages we have used all the five stages remember it is a non linear process you will keep on coming back to different stage as and when it happen why because it is a continuous improvement program now remember google has this first to fail google believe failing is important to invent new thing and out of in an average out of nine 100 innovations 92 innovations may google team fails then in eight they succeed so what they are saying they say if you want to increase your success rate increase your failure rate also because it is 92 is to 8 same thing we as a leader have to do to work on another thing is there is another company called intel intel says fast to fail If you want to fail, fail fast. Don't spend time and effort on that. Both the thing has its own value. Okay, we being a uh, innovative school, we being a community school, we being a school with so much of uh, responsibility. We believe in first to fail, fast to fail. Keep innovating, keep bringing new things, and moving on. For that, we use different type of tools. We use design thinking. We use differentiated learning. We use external research. we use poke yo ke error free system we use assessment technique we use system innovation everything so the mix of all this brings in those items 
now going to as we are running short of time but i will request you don't uh, run away from here why because now coming it is the most important part which is coming here now what are the areas where you can try apply design thinking i will not give you the solution for that why because i am 6.1 feet tall i wear 10 size shoes that doesn't mean that you will also wear a 6.1 feet tall dresses and the same shoe size you have to create your own working all right you need to explore plan test and mitigate the crisis copy paste is not an option remember it you have to do it yourself now let us see where you can apply design thinking the most important once the school will open remember the school will be mostly the victim and the soft target of any case where a child gets infected with the coronavirus whereas the possibility is he can get infected at home he can get infected while tra uh, traveling to the school he can get infected at the school he can infect get infected by visiting the relatives he can get infected by visiting to market he can get infected by anything unknown what is your strategy to ensure and confirm ki whether it is you or it is other five factors there comes the role of a design thinking right you have to plan it if you are not able to plan it wait for some of my other design thinking uh, sessions which will be happening soon in, with some other uh, host all right that will have answer to this another important thing where you can apply the design thinking don't be a victim in the soft target okay the style can get infected from six different places you are one but believe me get ready for beating up you will be beaten up teachers will be on the stake the schools will be on the stake school will be quarantined lot of things will happen but with design thinking you can mitigate it by 90% we are working on this we have a model which is ready another important design thinking thing that you need to look into that is your teachers and other staff safety and wellness people talking about if children will come leave that what will happen to my team if somebody gets infected and they get infected when they are working who is responsible for it what is the coverage for this have i revised my insurance coverage to cover them or not i have to look into each and everything so recently when we have reviewed our insurance coverage we made sure that the covid 19 element is also taken into consideration in that immediately revise it make your teachers safe make your team safe before you open the school this is the responsibility of the principal this is the responsibility of the leader it is not only about the child it is a complete ecosystem that you need to protect their mental wellness don't make them worry about salary it is your headache plan arrange connect get the fund to pay them their physical wellness see that their job profile is going to be redefined they are going to work extra guys are talking about morning shift afternoon shift the same teacher from 8 hours to 12 hours shift the poor people will die you have to find a solution to it job insecurity on that salary cut a lot of uh, consciousness when they are on the camera working with new accessories sanitizers face mask how these people are going to do it you need to find a way to support them this is the role of a principal this is not the role of somebody who will come from the outside to help is very important that you and i need to take the responsibility school management sometime may fail sometime may support but as a leader you have to ensure educate awareness do frequent sessions so that they are safe and all that another thing is the most dangerous element of the school reopening is transport because children they come by various modes school private own walking others it is the school's responsibility to sanitize driver it is the school responsibility to sanitize parents students they have to work on the transport cost because your transport will be running half who will pay the remaining half sanitizing vehicle after every trip driver and conductors corona testing have you heard of the amount that you have to pay for testing them every week they need to be tested otherwise by the time they will have the symptoms they will already be have infected many people ac transport you cannot run ac transport with a corona victim in the car my worry is my school is a centralized air conditioned school they say no it is more vulnerable to the corona you have to open windows doors and all that how i will do it in a desert country where temperature is 40 to 43 i have to think about it 
I have to also engage the higher transport director, uh, drivers and conductors and educate them ki how to bring my children safe. This is the expended responsibility of the school. You cannot get away out of it. You have to think about investing. Another design thinking uh, problem for you. Centralization is not good. What is an alternate for you? Drinking water point, you have only few. CBSC requirement for, for drinking water point is 1 is to 50. Now, if all the 50 children are there, every child takes say, 30 seconds time, your 25 minute is just gone standing in the line for drinking water. How you are going to do it? Toilets and washroom. One urinal on 50 kids. How you are going to manage it? Signage and stickering. How many times you will change? Children have a habit of kicking and removing it. Your corridors are narrow. How they will maintain the social distancing? You have a limited entrance point. How you are going to do it? You have to go for high bandwidth. When you have 50 teachers, everybody using internet in the campus, you have a problem. Instant quarantine facility, how you're going to do it? Frequent campus disinfection, where is the money? Think about it. This is the right time to spend some brainstorming on this. Leave all these things. Most important is the correction, assessment, and cash at a counter. Because on paper, I don't know, okay, I am not the scientist. On a paper, they say the virus stays for minimum three days. 72 hours so recently we started uh, you know telling parent you can give us grade 9 notebooks we want to correct it so what we did we have kept 15 days time for it. so they will give this saturday for three days it will be lying in one place nobody will touch it fourth day teacher will take it teacher will take two to three days to correct it teacher will put it in the packet again it will be lying there for three days nine days are finished all right, after that, parent has to come take that notebook and give the next set of notebooks. Are we going to do that? Are you going to conduct the examination? Think about it. What about the cash? Many Indian schools, they give salary in cash. Cash is one of the career of uh, coronavirus. Think about it. All right, you can do sanitization. I'm still looking for some uh, sanitizer which I can use to uh, desanitize notes and all that. Students at school, the lovely people who will join the school, odd even stories are going on. Now, my friend is in even group, I am in odd group. Why should I go to school? I want my friend to come. I want to meet him. I have my likes and dislikes. Five days class will be reduced to three days classes. How you complete your syllabus? Think about it. Students wait time at entrance. entrance. Suppose 1,000 children are coming to your school. Are you going to make a 200 people line and then everybody's temperature, all that is checked before they enter into the campus? I don't know how you're going to do. You have to put design thinking. We are working on it. Then see the cartoon, pranks and new disciplinary issues. Stealing masks, taking sanitizers, going home, not washing hands, washed hand, but telling somebody I have not washed hand, I will touch you. What are you going to do? Rumors and humors, fear of coronavirus, campus quarantine. All these are design thinking possibilities. Take up the challenge, make it, do it, and then stay ahead of uh, the crisis. Other design thinking strategy possibility is, what about the inclusion? In this online, where is the inclusion? Where is the inclusive education? Think about it. Diverse learning needs. We all are teaching in one way only. There is no second way. Child's vulnerability, cyber crime, digital connectivity, social dynamics, physical activity patterns have changed. Anxiety, mental health issue, changing role of a parent. This is so critical. Changing role of parent. parents deserve some part of our salary because they have become the assistant teacher back at home supporting the child. Think about it. Changing role of school and teacher, emerging uh, learning technology, recession and fund flow. Impact of misinformation. Once your school open, one guy puts up a message in the WhatsApp, a corona case found in Hiraram Inter College. Hiraram Inter College is gone. Even if it is rumor, by the time the report will come after three days, everybody check, nothing is there, you are finished. Think about it. Staff wellness and attrition. How many staff will it uh, weed out? Because they cannot sustain the pressure. Digital visibility and exposure. All these are this. Now question arises, why schools are to be open until unless the vaccine is invented? When there is so much of threat, why? There is a reason to be open. If you see your timetable, you had... Uh, uh, Chikita, I will be taking some more time. Is it okay with you? Of course, sir. Please. 
right because this is an interesting topic i don't want to cut short and make you know uh, some of my fellow mate get some ideas to work on of course sir please please, please. all right so my aim for this is the children basically should come to the school for physical activity they should come for the pe class they should come for the music they should come for the dance they should come for the lab activities and they should come for some type of other uh, social integration i have always seen a school not as a center of education school as a center of socialization education is a by product of socialization all right so if i only see call my children for these activities i can run, call these people one day in a week if you see the time table there will be two pe classes one music classes two dance classes one or two lab activity and one or two library eight nine lessons done rest of the lessons are the core subject teaching which can happen in online also till the vaccine is not done point number 1 Point number two: When the children are coming on that particular day, they can also submit the work that they have done for other five six days, give the copies to the teachers, and then they can go back. This will also solve the transportation problem. Why? Because the parent can take up one day leave to drop the child and pick the child. So the transport issue also can be managed. Now you are not going to odd and even. Odd and even is fifty percent school coming. If you go to one day in a week. your class school stand goes down by 1 by 6 or 1 by 5 mean 20% coming in 20% only activity teachers are there rest of the teachers can continue teaching online so that the online portions are not affected think a design thinking way there are ample ways of managing and going and doing it most difficult thing which i came across recently and then i was also feeling low seeing that If you remember two weeks back, NCERT has come out with their alternate academic plan, and I was going through the introductory note, which was so frustrating. See the note how it goes. India and the world are facing enormous crisis due to COVID-19. India as a country is under lockdown, while most of the cities and states in the world are under lockdown too. Medical care professionals, security personnel, and personnel related to delivering essential services. are working round the clock to tide over the crisis school colleges and universities have been closed i strongly condemned this they have completely denied that there was an online classes happening and if they have denied who are we to charge fees for april may and june they are our parent and the governing body this is the first page of the alternate academic plan we need to understand that that 43% of the private unaided school they need to have their own ways of sustaining and surviving we need to understand that being an affiliation body they have to understand the hard work put in by the schools you are coming out with chapter 1 social science grade 9 alternate academic plan in july i have already taught that in april and may what i am going to do with the plan means you have completely ignored disrespected that there was a school running in april may and june think about it why i am telling you to think about it because you need to look into many dimensions as a leader to move on to convince your teachers to award reward and appreciate them. covid 19 gives you an option take it or leave it all right you have to give up all your excuses and become solution oriented to educate learn serve sustain and stay valuable have sleepless night but cover your team in covid 19 be visionary thrive or cry is a choice if you are casual casualty will happen hence stay proactive learned wise charging and innovative be narendra modi in your personal life surprise your audience and be surgical when you are surgical you are proactive when you surprise you are innovative you need to learn and then you need to bring in those type of things to the entire thing and this is not about i bringing your voice you all have to be your own voice stop playing vikram vital if somebody will do we all like vital will climb on his soldier no we all have to be our own motivation to move on so ladies and gentlemen is very important to surprise with innovation and be surgical when you kill something when you move on remember 
it's always good to have an inspiration in your life all right politically i'm a big admirer of mr venkai and i do the simplicity in his life the dedication for the community that i have seen when i was associated with him talks about time to move it talks about improvise adapt and overcome any damn problem that you have design thinking prepares you for that as a school leader if you are not active you are not a leader if you are not leading you are not a leader if you are not passionate if you are not charged if you are not emotional you are not a leader so it's very important that you need to fuel yourself read books read motivational book talk to the people meet stranger talk to them attend webinar get the ideas move on improvise change it to see how it is going on so this is what i wanted to share with you all and these are the questions that i have received when you guys have done the registration so i would love to give you a very straightforward uh, solution to this most of these things are answered so let us see the left hand side corner you have school leaders how to manage the teachers first thing is stop managing the teachers empower them train them leave them go and support them and then make them good skillful make them see the future if they do the way the institution want them to do it and then things will be right next is how to encourage your teachers during online classes why they are discouraged they are discouraged about the media news they are discouraged about salary not getting on time they are discouraged about their struggle with it their discouragement is about you not being communicative and supportive you have answered to all the questions it is not the salary that alone encourages the people sometimes you have to make them believe and trust you have to tell them this is a difficult time we all are there it's good to be employed than to stay unemployed unemployed is more stressful than being employed how to manage infrastructure issue it's it's you need to have a magic so don't be too much adventurous with this assess do design thinking to see whether you can accommodate half of the school whether you can accommodate 20% of the school whether you can accommodate 5% of the school you have to be realistic if your class size is small bring it down don't try to you know just government said 50% so 50% come no you have to see what you have similarly parents please share some tips to ensure parent cooperation only tip is stay connected share with them the daily work done report tell them what you have done today appreciate their child if possible do frequent pfm listen to them stay connected is the motto how to encourage parent to cooperate with the school if you are connected they will cooperate believe me trust nobody you see when you go to a sari shop and then the salesman shows you 100 of sarees ultimately you feel pity and then you somehow purchase one of the sari whether you like it or don't like it. when people will see your effort they will find way to support you all right there are good schools which are doing it so if you take a shortcut then life is difficult so my humble request to you is get your effort and action visible how to parent how to attract parents towards online classes you don't have to attract them if the children are interested they will borrow their mobile and their laptop and attend the class make your classes interesting it is not your parent who has to attend the class all right it is you and the child who need to do the class bring in new elements how can we conduct terminal examination in pre primary group blended assessment offline video recorded online talking do the virtual assessment and go ahead then come to your teachers how to increase online study more effective i have shared with you so many innovators all right and your principals will suddenly come up with some more to help you okay so don't worry it will be fine just stay focused bring in some newness add value to your work it will be okay online class strategies you have to be resourceful 
always class your class with something interesting for example in my school the class starts with the riddle it starts with the eye exercise it starts starts with the puzzle it starts with the finger exercise it starts with the left brain and right brain physical activity and then it goes to the class a video cannot be more than of a 5 minutes length there are so many innovations that you can bring and you can help yourself new ideas regarding e classes i have shared many all right so you can take some of them if you have any doubt in the last slide my phone number will come if you get connected to it i can see like what else can be done students strategy to get the things done religiously during the teach from home time catch their interest if they are interested they will second thing is attach thing to the assessment when it comes to assessment we all get serious all right blend it educate parent bring them on your side and then help them how to deal with student anxiety and feeling go slow go with calmness all right simplify thing don't push too much if required make a phone call to the child all right talk to him now most of the local phones are free in india okay talk to them settle them down it is a tough time for them the guys are not realizing why it is happening you and i can understand okay how to improve the students who write very slow as a tough exercise all right you have to involve parents to help you in this you can decide a task that can be given to them you can tell parents you see this will impact his overall performance this is the lean time let's support him if you can help me back at home as an assistant it will be great because ultimately it is your child it is the future that we need to work as a team all right talk to them so for writing work first engage the parent you take them to your side and then move on all right and then carry on to further how to deal with the corona crisis design thinking okay crisis solution design thinking first empathize design ideate then prototype and the test what are the challenges that should expect in the post covid period the last 6 7 slides transport classroom all are the challenges how success is possible during the lockdown only way is design thinking empathize design innovate prototype and this and most important is 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 possible if you innovate frequently what would be the new norm of operation in the school post covid nobody has the answer i can tell you the thing without base it will change some more questions were how to give 100% return in both examination okay this question is not related but the best thing is always work with the children who are weak the children who are good can take care of themselves okay generally teachers they spend more time with the brilliant children get hold of the weak children if you push the bottom line the top line automatically goes up okay it is about success or sustainability now it is a time to sustain it is a time to stay where you are growth competition and success can wait one thing at a time right now sustain yourself don't die because if you die what you will do with the success so the first step is sustain bring in the value to your existence rest of the things will come automatically this is not the time for business remember all right how will school get fees in the lockdown period all ways were there our parents are very supportive we have generated almost 90% plus in the first quarter beautiful work everybody has stretched we are paying 100% salary community school low cost school but with the effort with the parent on your side by making them see what is possible they are supported how to deal with the parents with negative approach one or two if are there ignore if there are many change yourself to see that you meet their requirement okay they parents are the learned people listen to them see whether you have to do an introspection you have to correct yourself and then move on but if it is one and two habitually ignore them and move on how to convince the rural interior parents for the online classes a difficult task very difficult i can understand the problem there is not such option connectivity is not good they don't have a devices and the power is not there the mobile doesn't get charged so please go slow with this there is no way out all right a safety is more important for such type of case how to motivate parents only by your effort action 
if they see your hard work your work is done how to motivate especially parent to be in long term relationship with us stay connected build trust respond to their good suggestion tell them in advance what you are doing why you are doing how you are doing how the child will benefit education is must teachers effective online teaching regular frequent training should happen principal should take the responsibility because principal knows the strength and weakness of each and every teacher accordingly he should distribute he should stagger and involve everyone all right how to make a proper alignment with teacher student for more effectiveness all those things are there put a moderator so the teacher can focus on teaching how to hold on the attention of the students virtually bring change in activity frequently it should not be a lecture method it should not be monologue where you speak for 30 minutes and the child sleeps no every 5 minute there should be change every 5 minute you should ask a question every 5 minute you should play a video every 5 minute you should do an activity every 5 minutes you can put a riddle or a puzzle engage them in a different way then students not interested in online classes due to poor connectivity if it is due to poor connectivity there is no option in that case you have to send them the offline material so what you can do you can record your class send them the link they can go to the place where the connectivity is go they can download and then they can watch when they are free give them what they can do don't force them what they cannot do all right so be be sensitive to that how to deal with the corona crisis small practical steps to cope with the crisis and corona first thing is design thinking see your strength see your resources and then plan in the present scenario what is the definition of successful school the school that sustains the school that innovates and the school that gets fee paid on time is a successful school but the first two step is important you cannot kill them and ask for the fees all right innovate sustain and then comes the fee fee is the by product your service is primary if you perform a parent sees the change in their child's performance if the parent appreciate your effort you get the fees by default new operations in the school post covid wait there is nothing set till now school is closed at present how to tackle student behavior this is a very interesting question why you have to tackle the student behavior first you tackle your own child behavior at home all right it is normal it is not that children are first time going to have a break they had a summer break they had a winter break whenever they come back first week you need to have an assembly you need to talk to them you need to guide them all right and leave the children okay your own family your own children are have showing the tantrum and the behavior why because they are bugged up staying inside so there there are so many things that uh, are there and there are uh, ways of doing it my request is apply design thinking to your working and then the life is wonderful all right we all are here positively performing so this is all from my side uh, chikita if you have some other question that you want me to take up i will be very happy to answer so there are few questions uh, yes. which we have received other than what we have already addressed uh, i think uh, we have noted all the questions and we will uh, send it to you and then maybe we can send it to all the participants together all right makes sense to me um, all right so only thing is now these people have to read and then they need to settle down right. and then apply remember please do not copy paste it will not work all right your circumstances are different my circumstances are different but the design thinking steps are same so work like that and then you guys will have a great time we all are innovative we all are the people who never had uh, like you know never die type of spirit we are here to bring the change sustain the change and take the education system to the next level of performance so thank you very much from this no uh, wait 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 i have uh, ap sharma sir he is one of my mentor from uh, doha all right i give a lot of credit to him for uh, educating sir you you uh, somebody has to unmute him so that he can ask his question means uh, is a testing time for me so i will be going under corona test if he is asking yes sir uh, sharma sir ah uh, no uh, very nice uh, uh, mr tomar it was wonderful session and i'm so proud of you i heard fully completely to more than two and a half hour i think almost two and a half hour 
So that, that's a big compliment because you know I always see you as a litmus, uh, you know, paper test for me, and um, I always want to make you proud by the way I do the things. A wonderful case Thank study. You. Amazing, amazing. There is no no question. Only thing is, when are you doing the next workshop? Tell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I will do with you sometime. You know, because uh, the, the, the encouragement that I get from you. The confidence that I, I, you know, if I know you are at my back, I can go and declare war with China also. And I know I will win it. <laughs> oh, great, great. And uh, Milestone has done good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Chikita, you can ask me some interesting question if you have, because uh, then we move on. Yes, we have received some questions. I think, Bianca, please go ahead with the questions one by one. We'll take two to three questions and rest we can done, done, talk done. and address later. Right. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing the amazing strategies and practical solutions, which I'm sure will be really beneficial for all our school leaders and the principals. We feel empowered now and are ready for the new normal. So there, um, though you have uncovered a lot of questions already uh, in your presentation, which was really marvelous, there are a few questions which have been put in in the chat box and I would like to uh, like you to address them. Uh, so the first question we will take is that um, we would, um, Mr. Alok Chandra would like to know that since, you know, already four months have been passed for such kind of planning. So where do you think, uh, you know, he should actually start up with now? Right. For opening school, do not plan anything. All right. Because if you plan for one month, the situation will change. Some new item will come to the market. Again, you have to sit back and redo it. All right. Relax. Learn about it. What are the possibilities? Don't finalize anything. Don't give contract to anybody for sanitizing thermal cameras. Nothing. Wait and watch. You will surely get. Government will not come one day and tell, okay, open the school from tomorrow. No. Government will give everybody sufficient time to respond to it. By the time, what you can do, you can decide like, what type of training you have to give to the parents, what type of training you have to give to the drivers, what type of means work on your human resource because they, there is only the training. There is no investment in terms of money. All right. So stagger it, divide it and start your uh, training modules for the staff, for the children, for the support staff, for the nursing staff, for the transport, for the visitors, everybody, so that you have the preparation part in place, but don't invest on any gadgets. Don't invest on stickering because you have to wait and watch. And, and I am very confident that government being a responsible government, they will not take a chance of reopening the school until unless the vaccination is there in the market. Vaccine is there in the market. Thank you, sir. And the other question we have is uh, from uh, Vijaya Ravi. And they want to know that how do we keep motivated the admin staff in the school since they have been working like teachers? During this, uh, during this entire uh, COVID pandemic. Right. Uh, first thing is you need to motivate yourself. Seeing you positive, everybody will get motivated. All right. So when you are going and you are meeting and then you have to lead, you cannot sit at home and ask your admin team to attend the school. All right. If you are leading from the front, if you are with them, if you put for example, like when, you know, when we were doing the big distri book distribution through the courier, I myself was there, I was packing the bundles, I was looking into everything and moving on. So they, they, there was no point they nagging it. So you have to be the part of it. You have to sometimes tell them, okay, okay, this is not working, let's do this. One. If you are there with them shoulder to shoulder, everybody understand their responsibility. Everybody is stretching out and especially the accounts and the fee collection and all those people. We need to put them into some type of rotation because they need a break because of the fear of Corona, the because of they understand that somebody in their neighborhood got it. So put them on rotation because there is not so much of footfall that is happening in the school. But just for the sake of calling, no, 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 everybody should come. Government has lifted. You come, sit here, do gossip is not going to work. The most important role of leader is to create work. If you cannot create work, let them stay at home. 
absolutely perfectly uh, that's uh, commendable sir and uh, the last question i would like to take up uh, for today's webinar is like uh, how effectively the practicals can be conducted over uh, you know during the virtual classes like for example in uh, chemistry or biology how effectively the practicals can be conducted first thing is you should not conduct any practical till november okay your board examination practical will happen in january so up to november relax take a deep breath assume schools will open okay why because the children needs a hands on than that otherwise in the rest of their life they are not going to have it all right so till november hold it option number 1 option number 2 there are many free virtual lab options available on net including o lab which is run by the amrita vidyalaya in south and besides that there are lot of virtual lab tools which are available from nasa website become resourceful use them to teach and wait for the further confirmation in terms of school reopening i don't see ki you have to do anything compulsorily now you can wait till november end most of the schools were only doing practical for the board examination before the board practical so stay in that particular mode at this point of time because there is no other way out all right so relax and then have a trust the entire world is working on um, creating a vaccine the things will be better things are improving let's see it absolutely sir thank you so much for addressing all the uh, queries of our participants and giving us practical solutions for the struggles that we are facing and uh, now i would request mr rajarshi bhabe head of operations milestone to please give the vote of thanks over to you sir uh thank you ben thank you uh, uh good afternoon mr tomar i am not uh, sure if you remember me but i have had the opportunity to meet you for 10 minutes in office once yeah. and uh, now i have listened to you for over 2 hours and i am a little envious of shri gurdish virender and some of my colleagues who have been able to visit you in your school and i sincerely hope that uh, when uh, this pandemic is a little normal i get to visit your institution i have heard so much about you and uh, today was an eye opener in many ways uh for uh on behalf of the milestone family as well as the school leaders in india i would extend our deepest gratitude for taking out time for us today and sharing your experiences uh i was frankly very excited when she told me that you're going to address us because uh coming from a school leader uh to other school leaders the uh, the knowledge sharing and the experience sharing is much more relevant so what you've done for us over the last two and a half year uh, hours is uh, exceptionally good because you've not talked theory you've given us solutions to real life problems of how you address them in your schools and how we can actually succeed uh it's not just great for our school leaders it's actually a big learning for us in milestone also what you actually told us today is leading from the front is something that i'm going to take away personally from this session where uh, responding uh, to a situation uh, with a plan is more important than sitting back and hoping that things will improve i sincerely hope uh, sir that uh, in the future you can take out some time for us uh, when we need your help and uh, it's an honor to be associated with a school leader like you and a school that you helped built in muskat it's an honor for us to work with you because you persistently pushed us over the last one and a half years to better ourselves and our services i'm sure in some way or the other the way you push us to do better it helps us deliver better to our other school leaders across uh, india so thank you very much from the bottom of our heart and we we would hope to hope to host you again very soon someday thank you thank you very much it was a wonderful preparation and learning and uh, stay safe stay home all right go slow in terms of opening the school uh, we we all are lucky that we are attending this session today so enjoy wonderful thank you very much god bless thank you sir thank you